Okay, today I'm gonna tell you why I don't like these magazines as much. Okay, we get over here. If you guys have seen these before, you guys are gonna understand. These are 100 round magazines for your AR-15s. This is the Surefire 100 rounds, and this is the KCI 100 round magazines. Okay, compared to the regular 30 round magazine. Now, the reason why I don't like these as much is because this is our AR-15, right? My AR-15, as you can see, look it over. It's clear, right? There is no magazine or ammo on it. Okay, now I'm gonna show you the video right now. But the reason why I don't like these extended magazines as much, it's because here in California, we were used to these 10 rounders for the past almost 20 years. 10 rounders, okay? These are really fast and easy to shoot because they're only 10. There's only 10 bullets. There's only 10 rounds inside this 10 round magazine. There's 10 of these inside this one, which, mean, which makes it 100. Now, I'm gonna show you the videos, but the reason why I really don't like these 100 round magazines, it's because if magazine's unloaded as well, you can see that? You can see the tip? It's unloaded, gun's unloaded. It's because if you shoot them fast, because it's a semi-automatic, rifle or AR-15, whatever you want to call it. If I'm shooting at the shooting range, which I'm gonna show you the video at, at, at the end of this. If I'm shooting this gun fast with my trigger finger on the shooting range, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all the way to 100, your finger is, this finger, it's going to start getting tired after 60 rounds, which means after 60 rounds, the quickness, the fastness of you actually shooting is going to go slower. Doesn't mean you're going to stop, but it's 100% going to go slower. Now, I have a few friends that I'm going to show you at the end of the video. You shoot with this trigger finger because I'm right-handed. This is my shooting finger, my index finger. After about 60 rounds, after I'm shooting fast, it starts getting tired. Then. All my friends switch fingers. So instead of shooting with their trigger finger, index finger, they switch it to their middle finger, which is this one here, right? Then they'll put the middle finger in there and they'll start shooting the rest of the magazine, which will be the, the last 30 to 40, 30 to 40 rounds. That is why I kind of, kind of, don't like them as much this is the other 100 round KCI as you can see it's empty they can, they can see the top as you can see it's empty but after shooting like I said same thing after you load it and you're shooting fast on a semi-automatic AR-15 after 60 rounds your trigger finger it's going to get tired so after that Instead of going boom, 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 you're going to start going like boom, 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 boom. Unless you switch your trigger finger for another of your other four fingers. Okay. So that is the only reason why my personal reason on these extended magazines. And if you don't get tired after 60 rounds, make a video and show me that you can shoot 100 rounds on a semi-automatic, don't go, don't go full automatic mine on, on my video. Talk about semi-automatic 
gun. Show me that you can shoot 100 rounds without switching fingers, trigger fingers, without switching them. And then you can shoot them at the same speed that you were shooting number one and two. And then you're gonna shoot number 99 and 100. If you show me that video and you post it on YouTube, if the speed was the same from 1 and 2 to 99 and 100 on a 100 round magazine, I will salute you, my friend, so hard. But I, I doubt it and I have not seen it. Semi automatic. Okay, just remember that. So that's just my two cents on the extended magazines okay but I still love them and I'm still gonna keep them that's only in case that you were gonna be shooting them at a super rapid rate for whatever reason it is That's pretty much it. Three videos today. That's it. I'm gonna pick all this up, put it in a safe place, and go watch me some news. Go watch our president speak. He's about to go speak right now on March 21st, 2020. Okay, so get yourself some smokes. Get yourself some smokes. Get yourself a nice cold beer. Until next time, get ready.